Hello, kit heads. We are talking kits, the home of the greatest football kit content in the whole entire world. That is the tagline. That is what we're running with, and that's what we, that's what we're saying. We're, we don't back. We back ourselves. We are. We're Scott McTominay. We back ourselves. We think we're the best. You know what I'm saying? So, so yeah, we're back. We are kicking open the doors to the rank bank. We've got ten more shirts for you and us to look at. Um, and what we're doing this week. We did it last year. I've waited a little bit longer this year because I feel like the pictures weren't good enough. They weren't up to my standards. So I waited to get some some better pictures. We're looking at 2023, 20, 2024 20, season leaked kits. So I think I picked 10 okay ones. Uh, one of our guests wasn't a fan of any of them. And he'll probably tell us in a bit why that is. I can't wait to hear that. Um, but I think there's some nice ones in there. There's definitely a stinker in there uh, for sure. But it's a nice mix. So, yeah, it's that time of year again. We're getting excited for what's happening next season. This season's not even finished. And we're already looking ahead to next season's kits. Uh, and we've seen a lot of drops, uh, notably today. The the Nike shirts that we looked at a couple of weeks ago, a lot of them have, have dropped today. Uh, and they've done well. I think Nike have, Nike have done really well, to be fair. Yeah, no, they have. Well, we'll, we'll probably rank them properly again. Uh, we'll do a Women's World Cup, I guess. But, yeah. Let's not mess around. Let's get into this week's show straight away. Obviously, I'm double A. As always, Kit King Dom. Sean's buggered off. Uh, Kit King Dom, let's talk to you then, I guess. I can't talk to Sean. Uh, how are you doing, pal? Are you all right? As he froze. Oh, thought he was joking. <laughs> Look him. That, that was good, that, mate. You had me there. You absolutely had me there. Well done. Oh, oh good. <laughs> That was actually brilliant. Have you have you, have you, have you acted in the past? <laughs> yeah, than, just, uh, than, yeah. This, this is, um, it is my real address, Your Honour. Yeah. <laughs> you all right? Anyway, all are good. you good? Yeah, no, no, all, all good. Mate. In, in fact, no, not all good. I was not too well last week, and then I no. think I've got that medium COVID or whatever it is. So, uh, yeah, um, yeah, oh, I'm on the I'm on the mend. Well, that's all that matters, mate. You look, you look like you're isolated, so that's fair. You know, we can't catch it, which is good. Um, but no, it's good to see you, mate. F- thankfully, you're, you're here. Uh, Sean, hello again. Saw you on Saturday evening, which was nice. A bit loud, um, though, weren't it? We couldn't really talk. The belly dancers and the music I- was just too much. <laughs> right. I'm all wait, for a quiet night now. Yeah. Was that was that a place called Istanbul Grill? We weren't at a strip club. That's you know, you know, it wasn't it wasn't anything weird because they are loud and a lot of belly dancing goes on. Uh, I, I hear, I'm so I hear. I don't, I don't know. Um, no, it was loud. Yeah, it was a family meal. Um, he was on separate tables as well, so that 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 didn't help. But it is what it is, mate. I, I got to saw you see your beautiful face. That's all that matters, yeah. really. Isn't it, I guess. Um, but no, fun was had. But you're good though. You're okay. Yeah, really good. Had a busy week. Oh. Tell me about it, mate. Tell me about it. Um, but yeah, right, that's it then. That's that's that out of the way. Um, we'll do our little bit of admin first before we get our guest on. Um, obviously, the show is sponsored by Retro Football Kits. Jay from Retro Football Kits. He is our fifth ranker these days. He ranks from home. I hear he ranks a lot at home as well. Um, so yeah, he, he's not here. So we obviously have the four and Jay is ranking silently. I have his notes as always. But no, Retro Football Kits still having a 20% off sale uh, site-wide, so there's no need for any codes. And if you're judged by some of the people in the kit community, having a code is a bad thing, you know? So it's a good thing we don't have any codes to give you today because um, that would be bad. Some people don't like that, you know? It's seen as a naughty thing to do. Uh, anyway, um, but when the sale's over, we will have our... Talking Kit 10 code back up and running. So don't worry about that, people. You can still save money. Uh, but no, there you go. 20% off site-wide at uh, retrofootballkits.co.uk. I'm wearing a lovely long-sleeve Milan shirt today, boys. Uh, had to nab it. Um, maybe for the, maybe for the episode, you don't know. Also got a lovely Hummel Real Madrid shirt. I'm not a Real Madrid fan, but it's a lovely shirt. Uh, and my own PSG shirt there. Um, vaping it. £50. Down at Cheshire Oaks, if anyone's interested. Um, yeah, there we go. That's shirts. Twenty percent off. Uh, good old retro football kits. Go and check them out. Some beautiful shirts up on there uh, for you to go and purchase and buy. And so yeah, 
let's get into this week's show then. And I think another amazing guest, you know, Dom's really pulling these guests out of the bag. Hats off to Dom. He's doing his thing at the moment. And I think he speaks, his handles speak for everyone that's in a relationship that's in, in this community, I think. You know, we all feel his pain because I know for a fact, H- Hannah tries her best to like my shirts, but yeah. There's a few that she she'd happily get rid of. Actually, that's a lie. She'd get rid of all of them just for the space they take up. But you know, I think she appreciates it a little bit. I don't have to say, you know, that my wife that my wife hates them. Um, <laughs> Sean, Lucy, Lucy's okay with them. Uh, any more might cause problems. Right. Okay. We, the the story we need to, we're gonna, we're going to be having to hollow out the wall soon. Yeah, but how many pairs of shoes are you know? Tops has she got? I, I bet. I bet. I bet that's never questioned, is it? That's never questioned, is it? It's there her house. house. Well, you live there. I do. Yeah. All right. <laughs> anyway, enough about us. It is the amazing Tim. I'm so happy he's come on. It's Tim. Football shirts. My wife hates. Evening, yeah. pal. Good how are you doing? Yeah, all good. Thank you. Thank you. How, how are we all? Oh, we're good, mate. We're, we're good. Uh, thank you for coming on. Thank you for being part of the show this evening. Uh, looking forward to having you on and hearing your opinions on on the shirts that we are ranking tonight. Um, how, how's things? How's things collecting wise? How's everything going? Good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, haven't, I haven't bought as much this year. Um, sort of slowed down a bit, maybe. Um, <laughs> that was after like looking at what I bought last year, and you know when you look through and you like. I spent this amount of money on football shirts and you like add it all up. It's like, yeah. So uh, yeah. tried to sort of think, no, I'll, I'll scale it back a bit now. So I'm a yeah. bit more... Uh, Risky business. A bit more, a bit more picky Reggie. now, maybe. What's that? Risky having it, any kind of... Don't track it. Don't look at your bank. Yeah, don't keep do it. <laughs> yeah. just, just track, just track <laughs> the don't sales. Just track the sales. I not tell her. I haven't told her. <laughs> <laughs> she just wants to know how much it's all worth when when it's all you know. She just says, "Oh, you know, do do a little spreadsheet so she knows how much everything's worth." It's an out. Why is she planning on <laughs> getting off. off. <laughs> <laughs> Tracking out how if it's going up and down in, in value. No, I, I I understand that, mate. I've, I've, I'm trying to slow down myself a little bit. I went mad back end of last year. Not so much, not so much this year. But no, it's one of them habits, isn't it, mate? You know, it's yeah. it's for, it's for it, it's not something you can ever complete. You can't complete. No, 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 no. Shirts, can you? Unfortunately, the thing is, it, and then there's always a, there's lots of new releases that I'm seeing now. I'm thinking, yeah, I'll I'll get that. Yeah, so like you know, um, it's just uh, it's never ending, is it? Never ending. Yeah, exactly. I, I, you know, the best thing I can do is tell Hannah that I'm like my hearing. I'm being very selective on on the shirts. <laughs> Not that she buys it. Not that she buys it. Um, no, but thank you so much for for coming on, mate. It's a pleasure to to have you on finally uh, on yeah, the channel. Pleasure to be here. Thank you for asking. No, of course, of course. Okay, then. So before we get into this week's ten shirts, if you haven't already, make sure you smash a like on the video. Stop whatever you're doing. Put down your brew. Stop commenting about how amazing I look in this Milan shirt and just like the video. That would be amazing for us. Um, also, as well, if you haven't, if it's your first time talking kit, maybe you talk kit all the time, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel as well as smashing the ball notification. Um, I did lie a little bit last week, said there would be an episode of Desert Island kit out on Sunday. That didn't happen, but it is recorded. It is half edited and it's a brilliant episode with Paul from Football Kit Box. Uh, talking a little bit about KitCon, I want to say air, but I know that's wrong, uh, Aya, um, that's going on in this month, Aya, uh, it, this month. Uh, it's a great episode. Um, we spoke for an hour. I've got to get that down to 20, 25 minutes so you can understand the pain um, that I'm going through. But no, it's a great episode and it is coming out. I'm going to put it out on Friday, just to be fair. Uh, so he's got a lot of time to promote his uh, KitCon that's happening over in Ireland, which you should be going to if you can. Anyway, right, let's get into this week's 10 shirts. Like I said, it's the 2023, 24 leaked kits that we're getting out now, uh, thick and fast. Of the 10 shirts, how did people find ranking them? Um, I'll probably save Tim to last because of the email that he sent me, which is interesting. <laughs> uh, Dom, how did you find it? Um, 
I, I found it. I, I found it really hard to to like. <laughs> um, I think there was a definite bottom eight, maybe bottom nine, perhaps. <laughs> yeah. Wow! Wow! Uh, wow. And they were they were largely interchangeable, other than maybe two of them. Um, but yeah, I, I, I'm I'm wholly underwhelmed. Yeah, I mean, I did, I did the best I could, mate. From from the from the ones. It's that not I your fault. No, no, that good. I always feel like it's a bit personal because the personal attack. Well, yeah. Um, yeah, obviously, shout out to Forty Headlines. They're obviously where we get most of the images from. For this, they're sort of the ones that leak them the, the most. Sean, yourself, how did you find it? Quite easy to be honest. There's a lot of samey ones. Um, a lot of okay. classic combinations. Um, yeah. Quite. What's the word? I just say it was. It was a. It was a joy to do it because it was quite easy, quick. On the okay. train on the way back from work. Yeah, not as quick, not as quick as that answer though, eh? eh? Convenient. Um, sorry. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, Still and, trying and, to digest my tea. It was a big oh, chicken. It's fine. It's fine, mate. And Tim, you said you'd rather wash the pots than than rank them shirts. Again. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was a bit harsh, to be fair, wasn't I? I, I said I didn't think there was any that I liked that much, but no, I think what I I did uh, there was definitely a few that I really didn't like. So I started yeah. with those, and then I, and then there was a couple that I, that I thought were pretty cool, um, and then I just put all the others in the middle. Uh, I yeah. think there's a lot of safe ones, isn't there? I'd say I think possibly very safe. Um, I, I but, agree yeah, with that. We'll go through them and uh, see what we all think. Yeah, well, you said it. Let's let's do it. So get into get in the comments. Let us know what you think of the shirts of our rankings. Are we right? Are we wrong? Are we in the wrong game? Should we not be talking kit at all? Let us know in the comments. It's always nice to hear your opinions. Right then, so let's get into shirt number 10. This is going to cause a bit of commotion, uh, a bit of a, a talking point for one reason and one reason only, but I'll get into that in a little second. So number 10 on our list this week, uh, 13 points overall. 13 points. Remember that, 13 points overall. That's high. Yeah, and it, it's this from Juventus. Uh, the Juventus Zebra Kit, uh, uh, it, it's, being, it's being called. Four of us, four, I will start off, four of us put it put it bottom in the list, and, and I, I feel that will be classed as rightly so. Um, somebody, somebody wanted it second on their list. I, I'll, give you, I'll give you one guess who that could have been. Oh, I bet they've <laughs> given little to no justification either. Well, he's, he's here now, so you can ask him. Oh, Sean. no. <laughs> well, Sean, explain yeah. yourself, please. Why is this the second best kit of the 10? I love the yellow, the, the, the body yellow. It's like if someone's got masking tape on it. You know, to, <laughs> I, I, don't know, I quite like it. And it's it's not like anything you may have done as well with the For good the, the, garish, the garishness of it. And I was drawn to it. The, the zebra-looking... Blurry stripes, yeah, yeah. Oh, I could okay. wear that. Night, night, night out rating quickly. Eight or nine. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, bottom for me. Uh, it's terrible. I don't know. Adidas hate Juventus or vice versa. Something's going on. Um, Tim, let's let's come to you. Yeah. Um, no. I, 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 it was bottom of my list as well. And yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah I'd, I, it's the you say about the yellow, but the yellow for me completely like ruins it. Yeah, <laughs> it's like it feels like it's like really jarring with everything else. Um, yeah, I, I like I do like the like um, what is it like? It's like feathery, not feathery, like um, fur, isn't it? Like furry, fur, yeah, yeah. Um, it's, it's, it's everyone saying it's like a zebra, but... yeah, like a zebra. Um, yeah, but like if you if you got rid of the yellow, possibly that would that would probably work, maybe. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, but the yellow is just, yeah, it's it's just. It's a bit too much for me. The yeah, no, I agree. A bit too much yellow. I think if the the badge and obviously the Jeep and the Adidas logo are in yellow alone, I think I think that's fine. The black black Adidas stripes leave the sides. Just don't just that stripe. I don't know. I think it works a lot better. Uh, before we come to Don Jay, uh, again, um, has put it bottom. And Sean, you might be a bit good about this. Pot, yeah. Then again, you might not. He says, the worst thing I've ever seen, if anyone has it higher than 10, I'm not their friend. So you've lost a friend today, Sean, unfortunately. Um, I hope you're okay with that. 
Oh, Maybe if he sees the full kit. Okay. Right. Yeah. What What have you seen that we had? What's the, what's yeah, the I know. Shorts? I know. The, the yellow shorts. <laughs> I mean, that, have you got, if, if it, have you got hey, a, de a Debra tail on the back? What What's so <laughs> funky about the shorts? I can imagine if the framed like the shirt, I'd really like it. Okay. No, no, no fair, fair, fair enough then, mate. Dom, uh, we'll come to you last on it. Um, I mean, blacked out back as well. It's, you know. Uh, yeah. It's yeah why, why, do that, why, why, like, yeah. They go to all that effort of putting the pattern on, but it's such a complicated pattern. <laughs> they have to play it safe with the, the, the just yeah. blanking out of the back. You never get away with the fact that it looks like um, an NFL referee as well. Yeah, yeah that's true. I like working footlocker on the weekend. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Dom, yeah. We'll, we'll finish off with you on this one. Uh, what do you think, mate? It's fucking horrible. That's what, <laughs> yeah. that's what, that's what pretty much anyone with normal Sense. working yeah. retina would yeah. think. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. Sean's a creative, isn't he? He's a chef. He sees things differently to us mere mortals. Um, but yeah, it'd be, yeah, this is, like you said, Adidas hate Juventus. They just keep <laughs> fucking them over year after year. And everyone's like, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, carry on. Right, they're, yeah, in a, they're in an abusive relationship. And I think they need to, they need cry to seek help. help. Yeah, they need to cry, cry for help, don't they? Not uh, so I, much I think... that you'd be looking at the likes of like Castori and be like, oh, please save me. Like, don't, don't go that, yeah, don't go the other way. But yeah, yeah it's, it is grim and i think the the lightning thing in the jeep um logo in the sponsor i don't know what 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 that's for um but that it, I think, is it, is it, it even worse is it is it to promote their electric cars i think i think that's oh. what it might be from what i've heard i don't know um but yeah i mean i think the cry for help was signing pogba i think that tells <laughs> uh, we're in trouble here guys uh, why are we signing him but no, there we go. We'll move straight on because no one likes it apart from Sean. Um, and it's Juventus home shirt, potentially next next season, the Zebra kit, coming bottom of our list with 13 points overall. Number nine then straight away. And we're staying pretty close to where myself, Dom and Sean reside. 16 points and it's the Manchester City third shirt. And, you know, I think they've had this theme last couple of years of sort of incorporating Manchester. Maybe it's the weather. Lightning bolts meant to be on you know, the bad weather in Manchester. They've had the Hacienda. They've had the sort of um, Liam Gallagher, pretty green, whatever it, whatever it is called that he has. And I think they stick you in that Manchester theme with some weather-based uh, kits. I had it ninth. I don't like it. It's not nice. That's all I can say. Um, Jay, Jay had it seventh, and he said it's actually kind of cool. Okay. And go through our rankers. Uh, Tim, let's start with you on this one. Um, yeah, you agree with me. Uh, you had it ninth as well. Uh, again, it, it seems another relationship that doesn't bode too well for me. Puma and Puma and City. What do you think about? Well, it? No, I, I think this, I think this season's um, Puma Man City kits are the best they've had for a, for a long time. Actually, even the third. Yeah, I, really like, I really like them. I like the what's the there's the red and black stripes. Yeah, which is nice. But the, um, the third is, is quite bad. The, the bumblebee. You, you don't like that, do you? What's the Bumblebee one? The third one, the sort of uh, horizontal black and yellow. Oh, yeah, yellow. no, that's that's awful. Yeah, yeah. yeah, <laughs> yeah. But the, the home shirt's nice with the yeah. carrot um, uh, cuffs. Yeah, nice. Yeah. I, I like the home shirt this year. But no, this this just doesn't say anything to me, really. It's just a bit... The, the pattern seems a bit forced. I don't know. doesn't look like yeah. there's anything to it because you've got, like, the new Adidas shirts with all the, like, really, like, natural patterns on them. Like... Mm -hmm. uh, and they've done really well graphically, but this just looks like a toddler's been and just gone like yeah. whacked a pin down. Yeah, it does. Yeah. It does. Uh Dom, coming to coming to you, mate. And yeah, you had this in eighth place. You know, not massively a fan. Um, is it because it's city or is it because it's you know it's not great? No, I, I tried I tried taking that away from it, um, and it's still shit. So, Failed. <laughs> <laughs> if, it, if it was a United shirt, it'd be shit. Yeah, uh, it would. Like, it would. Yeah, like Tim says, I think the, uh, especially the um, Earth, Wind and Fire movement that Adidas have done, um, <laughs> with the latest pieces, this looks like, this gen this looks fake. Yeah, uh, this one, This one, uh, apparently is not, but this one looks yeah. fake. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and that, that's not a good thing for any shirt. No, it, it looks like a pre-match top to me. If you're going to have anything like that, a pre-match top, for, for sure. Uh, Sean, we'll finish off 
with you on it. Uh, I get you. You agreed. You know, you, you're back in the gang. You, you, you've agreed and yeah, had it. The same I needed warming up a bit. Same as Dom uh, in in eighth place as well. Fin- finishing off, is anything you, you can say that saves it? Is anything adorable or nice? Adorable, um, nice about it. I mean, it's set, it's symmetrical with a <laughs> the, where everything is. Yeah, it's adorable about it. Again, like I said, it's a training <laughs> kit, pre-match kit. Yeah, no, yeah. you're right. It looks yeah, thin ne- as well. It looks like it's gonna be dead thin. It does, yeah. I've never, I've never described the kit as adorable. I don't know where that <laughs> come from at all. I apologise. Uh, well, there we, there we go. Night out rating quickly, Sean. Uh, couldn't wear that one. Yeah, well, <laughs> couldn't, couldn't wear it. Would be zero, wouldn't it? I guess. But never mind. Um, Manchester City third shirt for for next season. Apparently, not great. Not liked by the the panel, and rightly so. Uh, Jay having it highest in seventh, saying it's pretty cool. I'd like to understand. No, why? Maybe, maybe you could give us some notes on as to why he thinks it's cool. That <laughs> good, wouldn't it, Jay? Anyway, um, sixteen points for City. We'll move on to number eight, and I'm I'm a bit disappointed this has come so far down, but it, it's just they're so close to scores. So it's it's eighth place, but it's twenty five points, which is not really too bad. I've got one of the shirts behind me, and it's apparently the new PSG home shirt for next season. You know, harking back to the sort of. Early, early noughties, Ronaldinho. You think of in a, in a kit similar to this. I, I like it, me. I think it. I think it's nice. Uh, maybe not the gradient, probably, is what it's going to let it down. Uh, but I had it, I had it in fourth. I'm, I'm a big fan of it. Um, I do, I do really like it. Oh, obviously, everyone, no one else agrees with me. So, um, Dom, we'll, we'll kick it off with you. Um, you had it in sixth place. Is it just one of those that are just meh? Yeah, exactly, mate. Just yeah. nothing doesn't register at all. Radar wise, it's just boring. Uh, the gradient thing as well, I do not like yeah. one yeah. little bit. And like, I'm, I'm really starting as I get a bit older. PSG as a club are really starting to piss me off, and I, I can't, I don't know why. Um, <laughs> so until I figure that out, yeah. I'm just yeah, I can't, I can't give them too many more points. To be honest, fair enough, fair enough, mate. No, that's that's absolutely fine. Um, Jay, fifth place for him. Nice retro throwback, uh, like I said, like I said, to the to the Ronaldinho kits. Uh, Sean, we'll, we'll come to you next on it, and seventh for you. So you know you're not you're not far off. A PSG pissing you off? Um, not really pissed me off. No, um, <laughs> I, I don't like Neymar. Um, I loved it when they had a culture and. Look at oh, he's pissed look, me. Look, he's like pissed off you. He's pissed he, off he, you. He don't, See, he don't wear looking it. down on everyone all the time, but <laughs> yeah, he don't wear it well either. Um, if it had like yellow masking tape around it, maybe. Um, <laughs> but again, I don't like the sash. I don't like the. It's not great, it's great, to be honest. No, no, all right. I think it looks better there in that picture. You might not be able to see it, but it looks like the the, uh, the sort of dry fit advance. It looks it looks a little bit better. Um, that's a, that's a mock up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. Uh, I like I like the fact the ticks in red as well. Uh, the, the swoosh. Sorry, not the tick. Obviously, get get it right. Uh, Tim, we'll, we'll, we'll finish off with you uh, on this one. You got it spot on. I think you've been bob on so far, mate. With with your scores, to be fair. Um, eighth place for you. For this one, they're having a bit of issues PSG, I think, with with some of the kits. You know, the Jordans get all sort of loved, and everyone everyone raves about them. But do you, do you think they're That's missing why. a little bit? Some of the <laughs> That's why you're getting pissed off. I think, no, that's why I think I hate them. Okay. That's yeah, fair. too many, too many shirts. Too many shirts. Feels like they always have too many shirts, don't they? And I don't know. I can't, I, PSG, I haven't really got any of their recent stuff, and I, I feel like I can't keep up with all the ones that come out. Yeah, they do release them at different times of the year and stuff. Um, but I have sympathy for Nike on this one because they they released that shirt, didn't they? Which had it, it didn't have um, that red down the middle, the strip down yeah. the middle, and it yeah. had it was really controversial with the fans. Like the fans like boycotted it, didn't they? Yeah. Um, and then last season they just had the red strip down the middle, uh, and but this one they've just taken it to the side, which is a bit like because they had that eighties one where it's just to the side, I think, behind the badge. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it just doesn't just do anything for me really. Um, they're trying to, I guess, they're trying to change 
you know, just having a red strip down the centre. But there's different ways you can do that, isn't there? Yeah. Um, yeah. And I think, like, I don't know, clubs like this, if, if that's their, if that's the identity, that they, they, it's a blue shirt with a red strip down the middle, um, mm-hmm. then that's what it should be. A bit like yeah. Ajax, it's the, you know, it's, it's just a red stripe down the middle. Um, but, and, you know, you can do different things with that. You can do a pattern on it or you can fade it out like they've done there. But just have it in the centre, you know. But yeah, those just yeah. didn't really do anything for me this one. Yeah, I no, I, more creative. I can, I, can, I can understand that. Yeah, if, if they kept the stripe that fully there rather than the fading out, I think it might, might have looked a little bit better. Uh, so there we go. Uh, PSG eighth on our list. Uh, not a wee wee from our panel or rankers this week. Um, and they put it eighth place, twenty five points overall. This week in our 2023-24 leaked kit episode, let's get into number seven on our list. And an anniversary shirt, I think I thought it was going to be a lot higher. I'm not going to lie. Only 26 points, though. And it's this apparent away shirt for Atletico Madrid for next season. I mean, that picture there doesn't do it. Just, it looks like it's that template from this from this season, which, it, again, doesn't go down too well with kit fans. Um but I really like it. I think it's daring. It's different. I, I love the colours. I love the badge. I've had it third in my list. I think it's really nice. Um, not an Atletico, Atletico fan, but I do like it. And I feel like it should have been higher on the list. But yeah, we'll get into our rankers. And Jay has had it fourth. He says a nice anniversary ting there. Um, all right, Stormzy. Chill out, boy. Um, moving on to the rankers. And we'll start with Tim. We'll start with you on this one. I mean, you're four for four so far, mate. <laughs> Seventh place you <laughs> on yeah, your yeah. list. You never, you, you're really smashing it, mate. Um, <laughs> yeah, so again, why was it not really something that was exciting you? I don't know. It, it, I, I, I need to probably know, know a bit more about this. Is this the away shirt? That, it's the away shirt, yeah. 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 And, uh, and it, it must be an anniversary shirt, like you said. I, I didn't realise that. I just... I, it, it it's just um it's Blackburn Rovers, isn't it? It does. <laughs> or is it, it or uh, Grasshoppers? It does. It does. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. But there's obviously some. There's obviously a bit of history to it, and that's quite nice to be honest. So maybe I've been a bit harsh on it. <laughs> um. <laughs> I just thought it, it just it just didn't seem like there's much to it. Yeah. Um. But yeah, go. But going back to the night template, it's sort of that the weird sort of shape of it. If, it yeah, feels like yeah, it's, yeah. it's against what it's supposed to be, isn't it? Yeah, it should be just one half white, one half blue, but they've got the sort of shoulder detail, so you've got to have blue across. Yeah, the badge is nice though, isn't it? That's uh, because that must be a one that's obviously a retro badge, isn't it? Yeah, I've think... noticed that before. Yeah, uh, go, go so, back. yeah, I think I've probably been a bit harsh on this one to be fair. We've had, we've had our first flip flop, a bit different. Yeah, no, mate, it happens, you know, when you see a bit, get more info, get a bit more details. I think, I don't, it's 120 years. I think in the, in the, in the collar there, it does say 120, I think, if you can just see at the top there. So I think, you know, 120 anniversary, you know, it's one of those ones. If you're not a fan of the club, you're not necessarily going to know. But no, yeah, you know, it's it's nice that you you can see and and appreciate maybe a little bit more when you see the pictures. Um, Sean, we'll come to you. And you had this, this was your bottom of the pile this week. Yeah, it, it stonked for me. Um, okay. Again, if, if, if they'd have gone, if they'd gone with a big collar, like replicating the kit is trying to, maybe a place up. Um, but it was getting, I was getting Portal vibes, Blackburn Rovers vibes. Um, and I don't like the short where both arms are blue and like it's got the little arch on the chest. It's made it feel yeah. a bit like, Made me feel a bit itchy. Like, do you know what I mean? Like a bit tight. I felt a bit tight. Yeah. Couldn't. Okay. Wasn't doing it for me. Aesthetically, it was a bit off. All right. Uh, night out rating for that one. Four. Night out rating for this one. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> That's got to be a nine, hasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> that collar's far too big. No one's having a collar like on a shirt these days. <laughs> uh, Dom, let's finish off with you, pal. Um, and fifth, fifth on your list again. Was it? Just one that you thought, well, that should just go there because it's a bit middle of the road. Yeah, I think it's a sympathetic nod to, obviously, this older shirt. And if anything, that awful night template 
um that arch lends itself to what that collar looks like as well um, yeah. it's, not, it's not a million miles off and i imagine the it'll be uefa uh, restrictions that will be saying you can't have uh, sleeves two different colors which um, immediately would have made it a little bit better so yeah could have could have been uh, better across a couple of areas but uh, the badge was one of the more redeeming features yeah no, fair enough so there we go then uh, seven final list this week uh, 26 points the atletico uh, atletico sorry atletico madrid <laughs> away shirt anniversary shirt that they are due to release next season like i say only coming seven and 26 points Moving on to number six on our list and only being it by one point. And it is their fierce rivals. No, it's not LA Galaxy. It's actually Real Madrid and their potential home shirt for next season. I've said I've said it. It's LA Galaxy, that, for me. Um, it's very similar. You look at the, the piping, it's very similar to, to the Juventus shirt. Um, okay. Yeah, not a fan. Not a fan. Uh, and that's why I've placed it in eighth place. Just not 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 a fan for me. Uh we'll go into Jay. And Jay has said about it that it's pretty clean. So thanks, Jay. Um Sean, we'll start with you. You said you like it. You had it in fourth. Tell us your thoughts on this Real Madrid home shirt. <coughs> Again, it must be the border, a border in good piping around it's the clean. outside. Um again, yeah, clean, yeah. symmetrical. Gold for the little bit of a uh, royal touch. Mm-hmm. It, it's a Real Madrid shirt. Uh, yeah, that, that yeah, nice, okay. better than the rest. Oh, fair enough. Uh, night out rating for that. If you had one, uh, again, white shirts on night out. Yeah, it's risk of spillage, but I'll give it six out of ten. Nice, six out of ten. Fair enough, mate. Okay, uh, Dom, on to you. And you agreed with Mister Lee and had it in in fourth place. Do you not think it's LA Galaxy? Do you not think it just looks like a Galaxy shirt? I think yeah, I think it could do. Obviously, um, the similarities are there, but I think overall, taking that aside, it is it is as uh, Jay had said, quite clean as well. Um, so yeah. I think I think this template it's already starting to um, great on me a little bit, uh, mm-hmm. given that there's been so many Adidas releases as well. But um, this is yeah. this is my favourite of the bunch, I think, um, with that particular collar and because it it kind of affords the stripes as well just um a bit of symmetry with this secondary color in the collar and the cuffs as well so i think it's it's clean clean enough and uh, i think um it'll probably go down well because it's simple enough to appease diehards but then appeal to the uh the little followers that they get yeah absolutely you'll you'll not being a big united fan do you not think that color reminds you of the 2000 to 2002 home shirt united had? yeah yeah up it looks like it, doesn't it? Uh, but no, I, I think that I think that the gold's a little bit too dull. Maybe it's just this picture. I don't know. I've only got this one, but it looks a little bit dull. It's a bit too orangey rather than gold for me. Tim, um, just finishing up with you on this one, mate. Uh, sixth place, uh, similar to Jay, sort of middle of the road. It's probably one of the worst ones you've had for the last couple of seasons. Would you agree with that? Yeah, yeah, or... I'd say that. Yeah, because I, I really like their. They had one. Um... I think it's when they last won the Champions League. Is that, is that last season or the season before? It had more of an orange, like round collar. Yeah. Um, that was yeah. really nice. And I like that the, it had like a unique pattern on it, like texture in the material. Um, I don't know what the pattern's going to be on this one, but I don't know, this sort of just ended up in the middle for me. I didn't really stop one that I thought I really liked or, or really hated. It just uh, pretty safe. <laughs> Wandered into, wandered into mid league obscurity. No, that's fair enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely fair enough. Uh, there we go. Then sixth place on our list this week 27 points, Real Madrid, and their potential home shirt for next season. It's odd with the black as well. I'm just looking at that Real Madrid and black. It looks on a home shirt, it looks really weird. Um, anyway. Adam, do you want that navy? Yeah, I think it would be better navy. Yeah, I think that's probably well, even purple. I don't even purple. know. Maybe I don't know. Um, so anyway, I got, I got them all right in the right order now. Yeah, so you, you've really? actually got five in a row, mate. You're are, you, are you just reading? Are you, have you That's not had a crap? Crap? I've just been a Do you know what? I think I have. I've just been reading Tim's list. No, I haven't. No. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we'll move on to number five <laughs> on our list. Another shirt I think is is it could be a potential uh, favourite amongst fans next season, especially in the kit community. And we're going over to Leon 
back to France. And it's their potential home shirt again for next season. See, that's the goal I'm thinking on a Real Madrid shirt. That's the goal that I think they should be having uh, rather than the orange one. That, maybe that's just me. Um, fifth on my list, I, I finally got one. Bang on, well, apart from Juventus, but obviously Juventus is shocking. I like it. I like the throwback to sort of the, the, the mid noughties uh, Umbro shirts that they had. Uh, I have got one to show. I don't know if it is exactly that one, but they all look pretty similar. But no, I like it. The, the Benzema vibes. It, it, it's very nice. Very nice Leon shirt. Uh, going into our rankers. Uh, let's start. Who should we start with? Dom, should we start with you? Why not? And um, you had it in. You know, it was second on your list this week. Yeah, I think um, oh. as I said with the. Um, like with the rail one, the that particular version of the template is the color that I prefer. But I think this one's even better given that it's the the three colors and the gold. Like you said, is the kind of gold that you would want. And there's enough synergy with that and the Adidas badge. But then the the sponsor as well just reminds me of the old like Renault ones where it come yeah. across it, even though it breaks that line. Um, which I, I yeah yeah I think that itself ties in with with those kind of throwbacks so i think it's i do think it's really nice i think it'll go down really well uh, i'd certainly get one i think in hand as well i think that gold would be gorgeous especially if it is that you get it in the authentic as well mm-hmm. yeah mate I, I fully agree with you on that one for, for sure uh tim for you um it was um fourth fourth on your list so you know you're not far away um, mate. So i've got it wrong <laughs> it's okay it's fine it's not the end of the world you're not going uh, on next time. Uh, Tell uh, us about uh, it. What do you think? Uh, yeah, it, 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 it's it's getting there. I think it's not um, not as I say it, it's quite nice. I quite like the just the very simple, really thin strip as yeah. opposed to like the thicker one they've got this season. Yeah. Um, I I'm not yeah I'm not sure about the sponsor though. But like we said, I don't know. The, I saw the um, the women's team have got like Mastercard as the sponsor on there shirts for the leon it yeah. looks just brilliant because it's just like just completely graphic um so yeah i think this would look even better with that sponsor and yeah. i suppose they have the same uh they'll have the same layout maybe for the kit so yeah yeah it'll look really good i think with that yeah I like the french, it's, it's probably not deliberate i don't know if it's deliberate or not but it's the french flag on the uh collar on the collar yeah no, i read it's the french flag but uh, yeah maybe it's just the leon colors <laughs> no, it's a nice, it's a nice touch. Probably, yeah. probably will be the French flag, I imagine. Um, Jay, Jay had it in, in how did he have it in in ninth place? He said pretty basic, but I don't know if Jay realizes what it's throwing back because you know he said about the PSG ones a nice throwback. Yeah, maybe, maybe hopefully he, he flip flops on that as well when he when he sees this back. Um, Sean, we'll finish off with you on, on this one and uh, sixth place for you, middle of the road. You're not much of a. I'd be, I'd be. Leon, if I said you'd love this shirt, is that right? Uh, yeah, you wouldn't be wrong. Um, <laughs> but it's better than, um, I think it's a better version of the PSG shirt with the yeah. uh, shoulder down the sash sort of thing. Um, nice colours, like the tricolour on the uh, collar. Um, and the gold, a little bit, nice touch. Yeah. Now rating? Four. Four. Ah, fair enough. There we go then. Uh, fifth on our list this week, 29 points. It's a Leon home shirt, essentially, for next season, right? We're getting into the top four, so it gets nice and tasty. Um, next shirt, 30 points. They're all quite close this week, really quite close. Um, we're moving over to Italy now, and we're going to go and look at a potentially new home shirt for AC Milan. This is why I'm wearing this, you see? It all ties in nice. Um, Puma, uh, obviously their sponsor, Chevron's all the way down the shirt. It was number seven for me. Black, thick black lines. I don't need to see why is the Italian teams messing with the stripes every time. Inter have done it last season. Juve have been doing it all, uh, and, and and Milan. Just keep the simple lines. It's all I want. Simple lines. Jay has said that his third place funky change to the stripes. Polar opposite to what I'm saying. Uh, Tim, let, let's start with you on on this one. Uh, it was third for you. Um, you, you're you're a fan. Yeah, yeah. No, I like it. I think uh, I, I like the fact they've done something a bit different with the with the stripes. I think they yeah. they have to be careful there, don't they? Because I think like this season they've got like the it's just thick red and black, oh, isn't it? And there's only like yeah. four or five stripes they're going with. And then uh, yeah, I guess they probably 
one season where it's more conservative, one season where it's maybe a bit more interesting. Yeah. So, yeah, I quite like this, the way it's sort of, you've got the double, the fact that you've got the chevrons in it as well. Yeah. It's a nice play on it. Yeah. yeah. Fair enough, mate. Fair enough. Sean, for you? Yeah. It was third as well. Tell us, tell us why, mate. Red and black always works for me, and I like the chevrons. Like a bit of difference there. Um, yeah, yeah it's, it's a it's a nice goal. Pope Pume have done it has a nice goal with it, um, and it's instant recognisable as a Milan shirt as well. Yeah, it was a little bit different. Kills it at the back, though, doesn't it? Yeah. I don't know what we fox is. We fox it up. <laughs> they have yeah. foxed up. They have fox still. You're right. Um, now, our rating for you on this one, Sean? Nine. Nine out of ten. Nine out of ten. All right, fair enough. Uh, Dom, <laughs> you're not a fan. Do you no. think? I'm just, I'm just looking at this and thinking on pitch when it's far away, would them stripes look a lot darker? I think it, when you close up, is it the fact it's that that effect is making them not look as dark? But for you, it, it was, it was ninth on your list. Why, mate? Mate, I don't, I don't like it. It's not messing with um, yeah. tradition I, and like, um, it's not too dissimilar to the kind of gradient like um diagonal stripes that um Bournemouth have got this year as well. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and I, I, yeah, I think the only redeeming thing is the fact that those kind of chevrons kind of articulate the um the colour. And I don't like a V-neck either. Um but yeah not a massive fan at all. Uh, but I hate Puma for AC anyway. Yeah that I agree mate. Lotto or Adidas that's all we want to see for 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 AC. Uh but there we go then. Uh that's our rankers thoughts on this the potential home shirt for AC Milan for next season. Uh splitting, you know, some some having it high, some having it quite low. It's it's split up. But let us know what you think. Smash a like on the video, hit in the comments, let us know what you think of the shirt so far. We've got three more to go. We're almost at the end. We're into the automatic Champions League places now. Uh, and the next Shirt, we've got 32 points coming third. It's the London Leicester. London Leicester, who's that? It's only bloody Arsenal. That's who it is, the London Leicester, because they can only win a league when all the other teams are not playing too well. That's why they're called the London Leicester, you see. Um, <laughs> but no, <laughs> is this the potential shirt for the champions? Will they be wearing this as champions next season? Is that why the gold's in there? Who knows? We'll, we'll have to wait and see. Um because, you know, Arsenal like to have a lot of goal things, apparently, because it means a lot to them. Um, it was six on my list. I like the, I like the, the little the jagged patterns in it, uh, harking back to a, a 90s shirt. You know, Adidas really do love the uh, Arsenal. Uh, not if you believe that the, the away shirt, though, that's come out. They really have started to give us what they give everyone else. You give United some shocking kits, but, you know, Arsenal seem to get everything good. So hopefully now they're going to get some comeuppance, especially if they're going to be walking around as champions. Um, anyway, that's enough from me. Jay, funnily enough, um, put it eighth, and just because he said he's not a fan, but that's because he's not a fan of Arsenal being a Chelsea fan. Um, he said to li- he likes the lightning, though. So he did say something nice, which is pretty cool. Dom, let's kick. Let's start with you uh, next on this one, and it was third on your list. You got it spot on, mate. It, tell us why uh, you like it. I guess that's probably the main thing. There is there is loads to like. Obviously, the fact that Arsenal are doing what they're doing at the minute is mm-hmm. wholly um, <laughs> dislikable. But um, yeah, that aside, I think it is a throwback. The gold. Um, yeah. It's coincided with the fact that. Um, they if they are champions this year, even that tennis ball away shirt next year will be uh, like the artist kid in school wears what they want. Uh, yeah. Like no one's going to go, are you trainers this year? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, be, um, yeah, I think I, I, the Adidas like um, just I don't know, ripping the a load of the Nike shirts off uh, and and doing it really well really well <laughs> imagine would imagine piss the of the manufacturer yeah. off but yeah uh, the the bolt down the back on the neckline as well is, is the best bit about it for me as well yeah it, it is proper it is. flash gordon vibes yeah it, it is quite splendid i even like the sort of the bordering around it it looks it looks quite nice uh tim we'll come to you next on it i think I'll speak to you something about specific about the shirt. I know you had it in. Um, oh, it was, your, it was your number one shirt, mate, wasn't it? Um, the, Adidas, the new Adidas logo was getting a lot of criticism. Oh, it's got to look so weird without the, you know actually saying Adidas. Do you think it's actually 
looking quite good and, and it's suiting the shirts, like similar to when Nike dropped the word Nike. Yeah, I think I think it's really worked really well. I think there's, it's, the, I think especially you can see on this shirt the fact that they've got it as uh, the gold yeah. just stands out. I, I really like it. Yeah, I've, I've really like warmed to it. I, I thought it was a bit of a bit of a gimmick to be honest when they yeah. got rid of the, with good rid of the word. But um, yeah. no, I think it's made them a bit more powerful the the, sh- the shirts because I think that it's a bit it's a bit simpler. Everyone knows that's Adidas, don't they? Now, yeah. So. Yeah. That is that is the brand now. It's not it's not a tick, is it? It's um it's those three strikes. So, yeah. yeah. No, I, I think I really like this shirt. I think I'm a massive fan of the this Adidas template. Um mm-hmm. and it's nice that the clubs are getting it now and like they'll I think it yeah, the technology is brilliant on it and um the pattern and the texture and the material is brilliant. The way the stripes work on the shoulders is just is, is brilliant on on the player kits, um, and I'd, yeah, I just like the, the Adidas. Like I think they just they give, seem to give every their best work to like Arsenal. Everything yeah. you know, yeah. all the retro stuff they do for Arsenal is just brilliant, isn't it? It's like it's yeah. just every other club is jealous of all the stuff that they gets released, like all the old jumpers and things like that. They're, they're just amazing. So. Um, and they just they they seem to just hit the right notes on getting just taking the retro um details and obviously like the lightning they've got on this one um stolen yeah from nike i never thought about that before but <laughs> yeah. uh yeah it's i think they they they, they really seem to to crack it every time unfortunately yeah, yeah. yeah you're, you're absolutely you're absolutely right they, they do really pull out the bag for, for arsenal which is annoying as a united fan i think we had yeah. one good season of it and then obviously Arsenal come along and stole our thunder. Um, but no, uh, Sean, finishing off with you, my good friend, fifth in your list. Um, other than this shirt, aside, do you think Adidas really are at the forefront of, of the kit game now, overtaking Nike and the stuff they're producing is, is really turning heads and, like I say, leading the chase sort of thing? Well, I think they've yeah. done well with this one. Um, especially, well, all the kits you've put on here, which are Adidas, I think are. A really good jobs by Adidas. Um, yeah. It's fitting that it's going to be gold as well because um, yeah. they are going to be champions probably. Yeah. Um, I in fifth, I might have flip flopped a bit. I put Leon sixth. Yeah, I prefer Leon's to this one. That's okay. my only flip flop. Okay, no, that's fair enough. Then, mate. Night, I'll rating for this. Uh, seven. Seven, good score. There we go. Then Arsenal third. On our list, if only they were going to finish the league in that place as well, that would be nice. Uh, 32 points overall for them for their potential home shirt for next season. Right, let's get into number two. Then we've got two shirts left. Um, uh, there is a bit of a, a bit of a split between second and first, I will say that. <coughs> no, uh, our away shirt from South America, and it's the Club America potential away shirt. Uh, for next season, second for me all day long. It looks night is it looks beautiful nike again doing wonders for club america uh it is definitely caliente i have to say so um that's my thoughts on it let's get into the rankers sean we'll kick off with you straight away um because it was nice for you why why is my question uh i don't know maybe i don't know what i'm talking about um i mean it might be topping so yeah i'd say so (sighs) (laughs) i'm stuck it's, you're looking at it initially, and it just doesn't it it, it doesn't look attractive to me. Um, okay, that's fine. I mean, classic badge, classic team. Yeah, Caliente been around for ages, um, but I think it's it's not doing it for me. It's not got class like the other that's eight fair. above it. That's fair, mate. No, that's absolutely fine. Uh, Tom, we'll come to you. Let's come to you on it next. And um, where did you have it? You had it seventh on your list. Do you just think, you know, the, the known for having really nice kits, Nike and Club America, they do come together. Have they missed the mark for you then? For, yeah, for this one? yeah, 100%. We've seen them uh, like with so many releases that have uh, been like visually great, but have been ruined by sponsors. So they use yeah. that like, ATOT and um, Home Depot on there as well. Uh, yeah. And they're somewhere around the belly button to keep the Home Depot on. And <laughs> they've kind of gotten rid of that, but they've they've still like that looks again a bit too low down. Mm-hmm. And um yeah, they, they could have they could have 
put it a little higher up and the um pattern across the cuffs as well i think that doesn't match the where the pattern sits on the collar as well which just just irks me a little bit i think if yeah. the pattern was a little higher up and the sponsor was as well i'd have mm-hmm. put it a bit higher up my uh, list fair enough man no, that's absolutely fine uh Jay had it second, similar to myself, just said fire design. I, I have to agree. Uh, and, and Tim, we'll finish off with you. Just some small details there for you. Uh, second, you know, third person to have it second. Again, I, I'll ask you the same question. You know, Nike and, and Club America seem to always get it right. Do you think for you, yeah, did, yeah. you have fun this time? Yeah, yeah, I really, I really like this. Yeah, this this is, uh, yeah, second on my list. Um, I just, again, it shows that you don't need to do too much with a shirt to be, to be quite effective and that, uh, it's funny you say like 90s vibe it, it does have 90s vibes to it doesn't it i don't know if it's just the color or yeah. um or, or the sponsor maybe it's the sponsor because it just feels a bit retro doesn't it um okay. but i think if you get that one in uh in like the player version with all the nice the texture to it uh, i think that would look brilliant yeah um and out of all the new nike um like templates that's the most successful for me the same one that like it's the england away shirt mm-hmm. um i think that that you know the way that it's got that taper at the bottom of the shirt with the little yeah. triangles yeah uh, and the nice collar and yeah i just it, it's it's the most successful for me yeah on, on, from the night block yeah so yeah I like that one yeah I, I agree i think that with that with that template has been criticized so much i think it did Done a lot more shirts with collars. I think like the England away shirt. I think like I say from that template is one of the best. I think they missed the mark not doing it with some other shirts for, for me. But yeah. yeah, um, there we go then. Club America second on our list this week uh, with thirty three points overall. Right, we've got one one shirt, and I think I could have picked any of the three that this this club is gonna is it, it, is gonna release next season. I had to pick this one just because of one reason. I think the guys will probably know why I picked the shirt I've picked. Um, it was four points away from a full house. Uh, four of us put it top. Um, so yeah, it, it's done. It's done really, really well. Uh, it is Roma and their third shirt with Adidas. Potentially their third shirt with Adidas. I mean, everyone knows I, I, it's the Lapetto. That's that's why I've picked this one. All three shirts look amazing. The home and and the away beautiful. But I just think this. I just had to, I just had to do it. Obviously, number one for me. Number one for. For Jay, uh, Lepetto, Adidas, Fire, he's got it bang on for me. Um, we'll start with a person, the only person that didn't have it number one, uh, <laughs> and as you can probably tell, it, it, it is him. But he had it fifth on his list. So for you, yeah. for you, what was it? Was it just better shirts for you than, than this one? I again, that this is what one that just didn't um, do anything for me. It just it, it ended up in the middle, so I, I didn't think it was at the top or, or the bottom of the list really. Yeah. Looks like a training shirt to me. You're gonna okay. probably fight me, but uh... no, I don't want to. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not. Um, I've never really, I've never really um, liked Roma shirts that much. I don't know what it is about them. Maybe it's just the colorway. Um, yeah. But uh, yeah, I, like, I do like the retro badge. Now you mention it, um, yeah. that that is that is cool. And this is a bit of a significant one, isn't it? Going back to Adidas. Mm-hmm. Or, yeah. I don't know whether it's back to Adidas, but it's new and the new manufacturer, isn't it, for them? So, yeah. Um, yeah but again, I don't know what do you, I don't know what you see in this that I don't see. What are you seeing? I just, I just think it, it's. Explain it's yourself. Yeah. <laughs> You're throwing it back onto me. It, 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 it just feels it, like it's, it's, it's jet black, I suppose, as well. I, I like, I like the simplicity. I like the, the different color stripes. It's harking back to, like you said, you did have Adidas back in the early early nineties, uh, mm. and it's harking back to to a kit from from that era. I love I love the pattern that's on that's on the cuffs. I like the fact that the the sponsor is very very simple. It's a clean clean color. I just think it'll work, and I think if it's got, it could have black shorts. It could even have orange, you know, or burgundy shorts. I think it'd look absolutely terrific. To be fair, um, but that's enough. No one cares what I think. Um, <laughs> Moving on to we'll, we'll let's go to Sean. Sean, come to you. Um, number one on your list as well. Do you agree with what I said in, in in why it's so good? What do you think? Yeah, well, if if somebody said you got a sponsor called Digital Bets, I'd been like, oh, that sounds shy that, but it's it looks quite classy. Look, the font's nice. It's not too in the way. Yeah. Um, 
it's just at the right height. Classic Roma crest. The little, the little plaited cut cuff yeah. bit trim yeah. on the outside just elevates it a little bit more. Um, I like its simplicity. Yeah, I, I agree. That's exactly why I liked it. Yeah. Uh, would you give it a night out rating? Oh, that's ten out of ten for me. The yeah. colours are amazing. I'd love to see it on the pitch. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I can't. I, if it is this, I, I can't wait. Um, we'll finish off. We've done then. Again, you know, number one for you, mate. It's it, it's it is beautiful, isn't it? Let's let's be honest. There's there's no two ways about it, Tim. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It's the kind of shit that obviously you could you could see on the pitch, but obviously uh, you could see off it as well and uh sean would wear it on a night out as would mm -hmm. most people as well but i think um yeah the the sponsors um not obtrusive at all the no. more simplistic adidas logo works really well um the lapetto badge speaks for itself and the adidas free stripes as well in the different colors if that's what yeah. it's going to be yeah. will go down an absolute storm the mm -hmm. sleeve pattern i'd be interested to know what that is or what it's based on um it, it is giving a little belgium fire vibes on the sleeves but i, I yeah. just i'm just trusting uh hopefully that it'll be it'll be not that um so i think it'll be done really well to match <laughs> the three stripes on the on the shoulder as well because then yeah. everything about the center of the shirt i think the badge should always speak speak most and uh, not the manufacturer and not the sponsor the um arsenal shirt previously that hasn't got like a white border around the uh, arsenal uh, badge and it kind of just blends in a bit too much into the shirt itself whereas i think yeah. this does, this does the exact opposite that just kind of pops out and that's the way it should be yeah no i i absolutely agree with you mate i think it's going to be one of the, the smashes of next season but i think all three kits well i think it's, you're gonna have to you're gonna be chasing to get one of these i think and i think for me i think it's deserving of the the best kit we've seen of the 10 today so there we go that is our number one kit 46 points overall done really well uh i think and yeah though that's it that's our 10 shirts our leaked shirts for next season yeah a round of applause there's been some some amazing shirts thanks to our rankers for ranking them uh, as always i will just do my little bit of scoring to show you that i do not cheat and tom uh tom's now tim Sorry, did in fact well. get... It's not, it's not how you start, Tim. It's how you finish. Yeah, it's how you finish. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I did so well, wasn't I? And, uh, I think, and do you know what? Blindsided. Even, even, even your, number, your number four was only one place low. Your number three was only one place low. You got number two. It was literally just what, uh, one I've and five. Got, that, I've obviously got a little Roma blind spot, haven't I? <laughs> <laughs> it's really weird. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so there are our scores, and that, that is where they were all placed. Um, so there we go. That's it. Thank you for joining us for another amazing episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you're looking forward to the kits coming out next season. Uh, there's going to be lots more as well. So we'll probably look at them next season when they come out. But that is it from us. So yeah, let's go through our rankers and thank them for coming. Tim, mate, thank you so much for coming on. It's, it's been a pleasure to, to meet you, to speak to you, and obviously to talk kit as well. So where can people find you on the good old internet if they want to check more out of you? Uh, just like search football shirts my wife hates on like twitter instagram <laughs> and they'll be there <laughs> not on so, google yeah. yeah not on google yeah no <laughs> but all, all our accounts will come up then if you search on google football shows, <laughs> uh, but no yeah again mate thank you so much for for, for popping by uh, no, it's and, been a and, pleasure brilliant thanks, sorry, thanks for asking as i say yes no. uh, and you're welcome great. anytime mate. welcome anytime uh sean what's going on are you, are you been any more charity charity shop hunting gk sean uh no been busy been really busy this week um yeah. what am i doing this weekend i don't know nothing exactly. i might be going to charity shop on saturday yeah. actually film it this time if you even if yeah, you don't I'm get anything sorry. film it okay. uh dom what's going on with you oh, i'm just eagerly awaiting uh more releases for the women's world cup yeah um, i'm watching a lot of women's football as well at the minute yeah. coincidentally enough um so yeah just looking forward to a good Fucking summer. Yeah, yeah, let's hope so. Um, for Brazil, obviously. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but no, there we go. Um, make sure you're following all the rankers. All the links will be in the description for the video. We'll be back next week with another full kit rankers. And by the time you're watching this, there should be a new Desert Island kits for you to watch as well. Apart from Football Kit Box, 
Um, like I say, that's a really good episode. Make sure you're checking it out. We'll be back very soon with more content. Make sure you smash a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you very, very soon. But as always, just make sure whatever you do, you keep talking kit.